Good afternoon people, it's Mark here from Street Effects and today I'm going to tell you about a little incident that may help bring some awareness to you and hopefully if uh, anything it might save you from experiencing something similar. Um, now I'm currently in my Audi SQ5. Uh, this car I've had uh, for a couple years now. Um, it's my daily driver. It's beautiful for cruising around, gets great fuel economy. Uh, so about five and a half, six liters per hundred, which is like 43 miles per gallon. So I drive this thing pretty much every day. Um, great, lots of room in the back, nice comfortable leather seats, the whole lot. And it's great for my daily duties, going to and from the shops and everything like that. Now, that brings me to an incident that happened sometime last year um, that ended up costing me nearly $15,000 because of something that happened when I went to the local shops. Now, I live about, I don't know, like less than a kilometer from the nearest supermarket or shopping center, um, and I needed to go and grab you know, my daily groceries, and uh, this particular day in question, I needed to get some milk for whatever reason. Went down to the car park and put everything in the boot of the car, um, and then closed it up, got home. Like I said, it's like 900 meters a kilometer from home. Uh, then started unpacking the car and noticed when I got out of the car that there was like a wet stain underneath the vehicle and I was like this isn't good and then I picked up the last bag that was in the boot and it was the bag that contained the milk and uh, it no longer had any milk in the uh, two litre bottle um, and what was interesting about this is that the bottle had showed no signs of any issues obviously um, if there had been leaking, it would have been noticed when it was on the shelf. Um, and it had split in such a way that it was actually around like two thirds of the way up the bottle. So if it had have been leaking, it would have been very obvious that the bottle was like only two thirds full. Um, and it was right along a line. It looks like a seam, but uh, there's this uh, sort of molding line that runs just above the label of the milk. Um, I think I've got some video of that from when it actually happened. Now. That had caused like a one inch gash around this whole area. Where I, if I pressed on it, it started splitting along this particular line. Uh, now, what that ended up causing is straight away that day, I went to go get the car detailed, cleaned out because uh, it had dumped obviously two liters of milk into the car. Um, and that's not really good at any, at any particular time in your life. Um, but, so I went straight to get it detailed. I shot my friends at Solar Style um, uh, and Opticoat. They pulled apart all the interior of the car and we flushed out everything that we could um, while we were in there. This was a Sunday, mind you, so I didn't want to leave the car for too long festering with milk in there. So we flushed out as much as we could. And what was really annoying is that the way that this car is constructed, uh, it sort of managed to bury itself deep down inside um, like the chassis rails basically which is where the milk was dripping out of when I was outside the car so I pulled up my driveway and you could just see like water sorry not water you could see the milk dripping out through the little holes in the, the, the chassis rails uh, so straight away we pulled everything out all the carpets all the, the, the interior that we could get at uh, and um, washed out the car from inside put cleaning solutions and, and all the usual stuff the details would use uh, but because it was a Sunday there was not much I could do until the following day um, now it then went to a panel beater where they further pulled the car apart um, the seats came out and it was expected that at this point the, the carpets may or may not need to be replaced just because of you may not be able to get the stink of milk out And here we have the stink mobile. Milk. Ah. Oh. oh, this is reeky. This is terrible. Milk was a bad choice. So, I don't know how much it's going to be for this repair, but so far we're over five grand just for a few dollar bottle of milk. We're in good hands here though, looks a little bit, so, oh well, fun times. And it was a quite a hot few days after this. Now, during this period of time, I was waiting on uh, finding out what the milk company wanted to do because I was hoping that they might sort of come to the party. Uh, and now during this period of time, I actually sent the bottle of milk, or the empty bottle of milk down to the, uh, the milk company because 
of the way that it split, it did seem like a manufacturing defect or something. And I know that for a fact, when it was put in the car, it wouldn't have caused it to split in this particular manner. And it was, it was a, you know, it wasn't from a, an impact or anything like that. It looked like it was splitting perfectly along this particular ridge. So I sent the milk bottle back and then I was waiting for them to get back to me to see whether or not they had any recommendations about what to do. Um, if they had any people that the car could be sent to, to get cleaned out. Um, and instead, I just basically decided, you know what, I can't wait any longer. Uh, I better, you know, get my car sort of fixed because I didn't have anything else to drive at the time. Um, and then I went down to the, the panel shop to go and have a look at the update. And it's been particularly hot those few days. And I noticed that uh, when I picked up the carpet, that it wasn't just damp, it had collected maggots under there. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but there is literally maggots. Oh god, that stinks. There's actually maggots in my $85,000 Audi. Oh my god, that reeks. Look at that. And uh, it was pretty stinky. Like the, the whole ordeal, it just made you feel sick as soon as you opened the door of the car. Um, which was obviously not ideal. Um, so I went from that to being a fairly decent sized job because uh, once that sort of thing starts to happen, it's very unlikely to get that smell out of the car. So then came the next section was, uh, it was time to replace all the carpets, all the interior floor mats, all the under trimmings from the carpet, all, all, the, all the rubber that sits underneath the, the carpets. Um, and obviously being an Audi, it has to come from Germany. Um, and so it was off the road for a little while. Um, and I got the car back, it was a beautiful, like everything was beautifully finished. And uh, the milk company had in the meantime, while they were investigating this particular bottle incident, they were very lovely and they'd sent me a, a gift basket with some champagne and chocolates and whatnot. But what I was kind of hoping is to hear back from them to see whether or not it was, uh, a defect with the bottle like in all my years of carrying milk and going to the shops I've never had this happen so it did appear to be some sort of defect um, and unfortunately to this day I haven't received any actual response from them aside from them saying that it's unlikely to have been a manufacturing defect but they were going to look into it but in the end um, my insurance company they did cover it it was about fourteen and a half thousand dollars uh, in parts and labor to replace all the bits and pieces, which is what well, this car's a few years old now. I think it's what, 2015 or something. Um, which means that that is like a quarter of the value of the car. This car is what, 100 grand new. So second hand, maybe 50, $60,000 or something. Um, which was quite frustrating to have to blow that. And uh, more of anything else, it actually meant that my insurance took a hit um, I'd been at least hoping that the, the milk company would come to the party with that. But where I'm going with this is next time you go to the shops, just give that bottle of milk a squeeze and um, it might save you a big bill. Because if I hadn't have been, um, if my insurance company hadn't been understanding, um, I would have been up for a lot more than the, um, the what, 600 $800 excess or whatever it was. Uh, so yeah, uh, now whenever I go to the shop, I squeeze the milk and I make sure that there's no slight cracks in the lid, everything um, is perfect on there. And I actually have since then found that there's been at least one bottle of milk that would have done something similar um, where it had a, a crack around the top. And if I hadn't have actually squeezed it before I took it off the shelf, probably would have ended up in the same situation, but it would have been in my super at that time. So just a friendly reminder, next time you buy some liquids from the store, 
you might want to double check with that, especially if it's milk, because it could cost you an arm and a leg to replace. And then the other thing is, if you do end up with something like that, I mean, I did ask the, the panel shop. They said that there's not really much you can do. They're just trying wash it out, get it out as quickly as possible, and then dry it. Um, but in the instance where the panels were and where the insulation underneath the carpet had filled up with milk, there was really little that an average person could do. Um, so if it does happen to you, you'd want to get it straight to a panel leader um, and um, have them pull it all apart and you might be able to save yourself the hassle. Um, but at very least, make sure you are insured. But in conclusion, I hope my little $15,000 dilemma may help you in future. All right, see you folks.